So here I'm just going to show you a simple text effect. It's uh, It looks pretty cool and can be used for so many different things. Uh, so anyways, to get started, let's just create some text using the text tool. You can also do this with any other object, but just create some text. It's a little bit small, but uh, let's see, I'm just going to use some abbreviations because uh, it takes a little longer than depending on how long the text is. So I'm just going to use my initials. And looks good. Then make them bold. Whoop. Select them. There we go. And size them up a little. Alright, zoom out a little to see how it looks. Okay, I'll live with that. Should maybe I'll make it a little smaller. So, anyways, to get started here, uh, we need to divide these two letters up onto different layers. Now, what I used to do before I knew about this is I used to basically create separate layers for each one of my letters and separately use the text tool to make each letter. Then I had to align them with the align panel to make it look like the actual word I was spelling out. But now I know what you can do. Just select your text and control B. On a Mac, on a Mac it would be command B. But uh, yeah, hit Control B, and then it'll actually break up your two text. Uh, it, it'll it'll break up each letter in that uh, in the text you had selected. And now what you want to do is you want to get these onto separate layers. So to do that, the easiest way to do that just right click and distribute two layers. And you can see there we have our T and our F are on separate layers, and that's as easy. To, that's basically all there is to it. You can delete layer one. And now what we want to do, right click on the F layer and select Add Classic Motion Guide. And now I'm not going to explain how this works because you'll just see as we go along here. It doesn't matter what color you have selected here because uh, it's not even going to show up in the animation. Just draw a line. It doesn't matter what the line looks like because you can just use your tool here, your, uh, your main kind of cursor tool, and you can just drag these lines around to shape it however you want it to. Right? Uh, let's just extend the ends a little more because we'll need some room. You'll see. Actually, for the F and the T, we we won't need much room, but uh, but for anything else, like if you're going to be using a whole word word instead of just initials, you'll need lots of room room at the end. Because now what we want to do is just click on everything, extend all these frames out with F5. I'm I'm going to extend them to about maybe 80 frames because I want it to be nice and smooth. That looks good. And now what we want to do is, actually we want this, you can see how the F is kind of part of the guide layer, right, because it's kind of indented in there, which means it's kind of part of the layer that's above it. We want the T to be like that as well, so let's simply, simply just drag the T in between these two layers, and now the T is part of the guide layer as well. So now we're going to just create a classic tween, or in older versions, I think it'll be called a motion tween. So let's just right click, create classic tween, create a classic tween for that. We don't want to create a classic tween for the guide layer. And now just drag our letters, or actually, sorry, we want to create keyframes at the end of these two, so F6 and F6. Now go back to the beginning here, let's drag our letters to the beginning, and you'll notice no matter how far off I am from the guide layer, they will snap to the guide layer. They are permanently stuck to the guide layer. Whoop. So, anyways, just arrange these like so, and then go, go to the very end, and arrange them. And the cool thing about the guide, a guide layer is it'll fill in everything in, in between, like the text will actually follow the guide layer as it's tweening, and that's because the, these two layers are part of the guide layer, so whenever you tween them, they will stick to the guide layer. Let's go and preview, preview that. That looks pretty cool. So uh, just to give you an example of what this might be used for, uh, let's see, let's just get rid of this and create a new project. Say you have somebody throwing, a little stick man throwing a ball or something, you could just, let's just create a simple ball here. That looks pretty good, I'm not going to be picky about the colors because this is just an example. And. Now what we're going to do is right click, create classic uh, motion guide, and this is already part of the guide layer so we don't have to do any dragging around. And we're
we're just going to use our pencil tool to say he throws it up in the air. We want it to bounce at the end there. It's not the uh, smoothest. I'll try and redo that. That's pretty good. And we'll just tween these. First we want to add a bunch of frames. Oh, okay, that looks good. And we'll just create a classic tween, and you'll see it'll stick on there as soon as I create the tween. And create a keyframe at the end. Go back to the beginning of the animation. Drag it over here, and the end, and right there. So as you see, it'll follow the guide layer, so he throws it, and it bounces to a stop. Now, uh, the other thing I'll show you here, which is kind of cool, you see how this isn't really realistically how a ball would bounce. It would actually slow down at the end here. right? So what you can do is you can use something called an ease right over here in the properties pane. Uh, just kind of click anywhere in your tween. And then we want to do an ease out. So basically it'll slow down as it gets to the end. An ease in would mean it would be slow starting off like that and speed up as it gets goes along, but we, we want to do an ease out. So just pump that all the way up to 100 and preview it again. So as you can see, it doesn't look perfect, but it looks a lot better because it kind of slows down at the end. Anyways, uh, that's basically how to make a cool text effect and also another uh, the easing with uh, tweening. So I hope you enjoyed that and be sure to look out for more tutorials.